Today we're going to do a short video about the needle palm, which is Repetophilium hystrix. Uh, these palms uh, are uh, kind of a shrub-like palm. They grow best in zones 6 through 10. Uh, they might could possibly be zone, grown in zone 5 with some protection. They can take temperatures down to around negative five before most damage starts to occur. Uh, they uh, uh, possibly could take uh, temperatures a little lower than that. Uh, temperatures down to zero probably won't phase them at all. Uh, they take snow and ice fairly well. Fronds will generally just flatten out, and then when the snow or ice is gone, it'll they'll come back. They're generally multi-trunked with suckers that you can see. There's a small one here. And here's a small sucker. So if something does happen to the palm and it uh, uh, loses one of its trunks due to uh, some sort of uh, rot or that sort of thing, it'll grow from these other uh, suckers. Uh, so it's pretty hard to lose this palm in, uh, in zone 6 through 10. Uh, a lot of people are worried about the needles that are on these palms, but as you can see from this one, I'll touch a few of them here, they don't really, they're not really sharp enough to cause you uh, injury. But, uh, most, I don't think they'll really, uh, pets won't really get close enough to, to really get hurt on them or that sort of thing. Uh, the fronds and everything, the overall plant on this can get uh, as high as 8 to 12 feet tall and probably that wide, around 8 foot wide, but this will take uh, at least uh, 10 15 years. Uh, this is kind of a this one here is about three foot tall. I'll show you here's one in the strap leaf rays over here. You see, it has just I'm reading this new fronds here. There's just a bunch of suckers on this. And generally, the fronds on these are considered to be one of the uh, prettier palms. They have kind of a glossy frond and uh, here's one that you can see a little bit better. And so when they get larger they're, they're a real pretty bushy palm that can uh, provide a backdrop to your landscape and uh, give you something that especially in zones 6 through 10 that you uh, don't have to worry about protecting or that sort of thing. You can protect these palms the first year or two that you put them in the ground if temperatures are getting low or you're having some big type of uh, uh, storm and you're a little concerned but uh, beyond that I wouldn't worry about protecting these palms unless temperatures go below zero. So. So that's the needle palm.